And now as an operator of short-term rentals, let's say you've got some clients that own, maybe I've got one and I want you to manage it. Do you have to have any special licensing? Like in New York state, I know I've got to be a licensed broker to be able to do term rentals. Is there yeah. any regulation on the short-term rental? It's, it's kind of like Bitcoin. I feel like it's like, <laughs> I no one knows for sure. I hold a real estate license in Arizona. And okay. I remember specifically when I was studying for the course that in order to property manage, you don't need any special designation. I know in Nevada, where I've also spent a lot of time, actually in Nevada at the moment, to property manage, you need a, a PM designation aside from a real estate license. So, mm -hmm. so that's the first thing is it's state by state. Also, I know in Arizona, it for sure says in the guides that, you know, to a property managers, anyone who manages properties that aren't their own for a fee, more than one client, like I could manage just your properties in Arizona and no one else's and I don't need a license yet. But as soon as I manage a second homeowner's property for long term tenants, I need a real estate license. And it says specifically that terms of less than 30 days do not like the rule doesn't apply. You need no licensure at all. It explicitly says that. So oh, wow. in that state, you need no licensure of any kind whatsoever to manage other people's properties as short term rentals, as long as they're rented for less than 30 days. And that's really a product of the fact that fair house, national fair housing laws only apply to long term tenancy. 